welcome to Bite Says Piano. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to play the piano part accompaniment chords to Easy On Me by Adele. So these chords are accurate. I'll show you sort of the general way it can be played and I can guarantee you it won't be played exactly the same way when it's performed live as well. So just a disclaimer, this one really isn't suitable for beginners. So if you are a beginner, instead of leaving a horrible comment directed at me, go and find a tutorial that says easy or beginner because this is not gonna be suitable. You'll probably play the chords fine, but the nature in which we play them, which is quite like rhythmical and almost like improvised feel, is probably not suited to a beginner. You can get the chords from this tutorial, but I'm not gonna be overly specific with how I play the chords. Because someone of this ability should be able to sort of pick that up and be able to sort of play it in this style. I'll sing just as like a as a guide, as like a reference point. And I've also left the full chords and lyrics linked down below as well. It's fairly repetitive, but with small differences here and there. I've also left my other Adele tutorials linked down below as well. So this one is in the key of F major. So on the screen now, all the notes of the scale of F major. So the chords are formed using those notes. Here is middle C. My piano, so if you locate that pitch on your keyboard or piano, just give you an idea of where I'm positioned. So I will teach both hands at the same time because it is just chords. The right hand is orange and the left hand is blue as usual. So we're gonna look at the intro first. So some of this does require a large hand span. You're just gonna have to miss out your thumbs if you can't play octave notes at the same time. So we're gonna play F octaves and then C, F and C, so it's like an F5. So we have, and then F, C, C, C and G, C and E, C and F. I'll do it again. play that chord again but you move your left hand to D's so now we have like a D minor 7 chord and then we play C F C and G C and E C and F so do it again so from the beginning we have down to A's and then we have this chord is based around F major over A and then we have the C and F change to E F E F E <laughs> so change the left hand to B flats play C and F again and then B flat and D and that gives us B flat sus 2 into B flat major. So once you've got the hang of this, this actually makes up the majority of the song in some form or other. Because again, the left hand may, may play some extra notes, the right hand may play some slightly extra notes. Um, so it's just about listening to it, but that's generally what's happening. So I'll do that again. You probably saw that I was just adding the extra note every now and then with my thumb just like in like the gaps basically and you can play around with that as well it makes it sound more rhythmical so that is the intro then so the verse you're pretty much gonna repeat that again if you want to be really specific it doesn't have this top C in there so it goes and then to the D minor 7 it's the same we just don't have this top C in there and then we have this so just B flat major B flat D and F up to C 
C major, C, E, G, and then this almost repeats again. Again, you can play it without the top C or with the C. With the top C, it's up to you. I'll probably alternate between. It's based around C major, so we have C and F. And then the left hand turns to B flat, and we still have the C and F to the E. playing the C with it and you replay that B flat again with the C and A. G, A, G, A, G. So it's it's in line with the vocal melody of what she's singing so you just have to listen to what she's singing and then base the top note of the chord on that vocal line. But I can't bring myself to So at the, the in bit, we have consecutive six. So it's D and B flat to C and A. So I'm gonna do all of that verse again. So now I'll just demonstrate it with vocals. There ain't no into the chorus. So we have F major, I'm choosing to play it in first inversion, so F or F's in the left hand and then A, A, C, F. So we're, I'm just going to play it simply first, so we're going to go one, two, three, and then you're going to play this a fourth time but change your left hands to D's, so it's a passing D minor 7 chord. So we have Go So there we have C major, second inversion. So it's G, C, E. Play that twice and then you go. So we it quickly goes to a change the E to an F and then back to the E again. And you and you can play the rest of the chord with it as well. So like over A this time. I take a to... So here we're into G minor 7. So we've got G's in the left hand. In the right hand, if you have a wider hand span, you can play G, B flat, D and F, so the full G minor 7 chord. Or you can omit the G because you're playing it in the left hand anyway and just play effectively B flat major. So B flat, D and so I'll do all that again from the start of the chorus. Go So here you play the G chord quickly into the F over A. I was still a child. Didn't. And then into flat major Get a chance to. and then it changes to B flat sus 2 so B flat major twice change the D to a C twice and you repeat all that again Uh, 
have like the intro part again. So you do the same again with the D. And then it's that B flat into the C. into this next verse. This next verse is pretty much the same as the first one, it's just a minor, a couple of minor differences. But this time we go to a C, into the B flat, so it's two into the B flat, and then it's a B flat to C, and then this slightly different so it goes and then into D and B flat you can play the F in there as well and into the C and F so it's and then to the D minor The top notes here are in line with what she's singing. I changed who I was to play you. Change to B flat. D and B flat. So let's do that last bit again. It's pretty much the same as the first one. Go. that chorus where she's singing so go easy we have if you want to be specific it's basically doing the intro part again so we have so it's not going it's not doing that anymore it's going And play this C F C again. To the B sus two. So the bridge is again incredibly similar to what we've already done, so we have the F. That bit again. And then to D minor. And then straight into 
into the into the B flat C and A D and B flat and then the B flat to C before we go back into the chorus so I'll do all that bridge again so I'm not going to sing the bridge bit because it might just sound a bit screechy um, but she, it's a bit where she's singing I had good intentions um, Again the chords and lyrics are linked down below so I'm going to play specifically where the chords fall in line with the lyrics So I'll just play the bridge So we've just gone chorus and then here we have the F to B flat to F again <laughs> so I'm going to play it the F major up here we've got So at the end, the outro is, so the... To the A. To the B flat. And then we add the D in there, or you can play the full B flat, C, D, F. So that's the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful. If you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request, you need to click on this video, which takes you through to my official request space. You do need to be subscribed, all requests are noted and considered, so I look forward to seeing you over there.